know, Valentine's Day right around the corner, what are some simple ways to be decadent, and why is it so important to make time for simple indulgences? Well, I think for Valentine's Day especially, we think of chocolate and flowers right away, but you know, there are a million things that we can do for one another to really indulge and relax and sort of unwind. And one of the things I love to do um, is there are great recipes in here for date night dinners for two. And that's actually the title of chapter 12 in Cook Yourself Sexy. So there's everything in here from a whole roasted chicken to, you know, one pot meals. Say if you want to do a big, large pot of, this is a oxtail ragu with um, popper deli noodles and fresh herbs and things like that. There's also a great spaghetti and meatball recipe that is homemade, but a little bit less um you know calorie laden it's actually really good for you there really isn't anything in here that's terrible for you um but my big weakness in life is usually chocolate and that's how i find myself indulging so what i love to do is i make to make a cafe escapes dark chocolate hot cocoa and i put it in my keurig brewer i make one cup it's under 100 calories i have no guilt and all i want to do is just hang out on the couch and chill for the rest of the day so it does it takes me away to that point <laughs> <laughs> and how can we carve out a little me time and we time well I think when you really want more me time it's all about taking a walk reading a book going to the park seeing a girlfriend you know making a moment of time for yourself which is important because all of us are so busy we don't have any time to relax for ourselves and we time means cooking together, bringing your date over for Valentine's Day, and cooking together a really delicious, like, home, homegrown meal that's going to make you both feel really good. And, I mean, who doesn't love, like, coming home to a home-cooked meal? Like, here's a, a really good burger recipe I made last year for Valentine's Day. So oh, good. Yum. And is it possible to indulge and keep your New Year's resolution? Absolutely. I think when people overindulge, then they feel guilty and they feel bad, and it's this vicious cycle that will continue. But if you just continue to change your lifestyle and eat better every day and eat in moderation and everything is allowed, it's okay to indulge every now and then. And if you really need to kill a craving here or there, I always say that my Cafe Escapes with my Carrot Brewer keeps me on track too. And do you have any advice for spicing up the kitchen this Valentine's Day? I think um, one recipe I always recommend to people from Cook Yourself Sexy is a chili lime shrimp taco. The chili actually has capsaicin, which keeps your blood flowing and makes you excited. And the shrimp contains zinc, which is really great for male reproductive health and male libido. So if you really want to spice up that love life, you've got to learn to cook together. Do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share with us? Well, you know, I say if you go to facebook.com slash cafe escapes, you'll see a plethora of tips and tricks on how you can kill cravings or what new flavors they have out. And really, all of these are under 100 calories, so they're a great treat for you to have. And on my website, candicekumai.com, I have my cookbooks, and I talk about all these great tips and tricks to cooking yourself sexy. And I think life's greatest pleasures are one another, great food, great beverages, and just living a really great life. And what's your web address? Mine is CandiceKumai.com, C-A-N-D-I-C-E. And uh, the website also for you to get your K-Cup packs is at GreenMountain.com. Well, thank you so much, Candice. I really appreciate it. It's been of great course. chatting with you My this morning. My pleasure, Candice. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.